Hello everybody and thanks for checking out my review. Uh, this is Doug FNJ and today I'm going to be reviewing the DW5600C. Uh, this is called the Speed Watch because it's the watch that Keanu Reeves wore uh, during the movie Speed that came out. I believe it was uh, either the late 80s or early 90s. Uh, this watch is over 30 years old. Um, I had gotten this uh, new old stock. It was it was something that came out of a factory that from a gentleman out in England uh, that was kind enough to sell it to me at a very cheap cost. It was basically an even trade for a uh, 5600E that had come out at that point. Um, so I told the guy I would never sell it. I would keep it, and I've kept my promise, and this has been just a real nice treasure in my collection. I, I'll always keep this watch. I enjoy it a lot. Um, the thing that I loved about this watch is the screw-back design. So uh, you have the single screw as opposed to the newer versions that came out that had a plate with four screws on either side. Um, just gave it a little bit more um, opportunity for dirt to end up in there where when you have the screw-back design, uh, there's not much penetration that you can get of any type of materials or anything in the back that there. So that's the thing that I appreciated about this watch and why, you know, I kind of hunted it down when I was looking for it. Um, as far as the watch itself, um, I, I'll tell you right now, this watch, uh, like I, I think I changed the battery about six years ago and it's still running strong today. Um, the lights actually even still, uh, considered, uh, you know, for this type of watch kind of bright on it. So, uh, you know, it's it's old school. The new ones, the entire screen lights up. It used to just be a bulb on the left side. Um, the module is pretty basic. It's a 901 module. Uh, you look at the screen. I mean, basically, you get your day of the week. You get your date. You get your time. You get your seconds. And uh, there's a little feature here um, with an REM feature. Basically, it's a, rem it's a reminder feature. If you need to remember something, you just hold on to the uh, little button on the right side here. And you'll see this little blinking spot right there. And that just reminds you that you have to do something. Whatever you... <laughs> it's it's old school right there. All right. The module, like I said, it's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, you go through the functions and you're looking at your alarm. You're looking at your dual time. So as opposed to the new watches today that uh, will give you the world times for every continent that or every region. Uh, this one, you just set the second time zone that you're going to be in at the current time pretty basic and then the regular time ends up uh, showing on the top right of the screen which is handy you got your 24 hour uh, counter uh, uh, sorry 24 hour countdown timer the nice thing about this timer is you can go down from one second all the way up to 24 hours uh, it's pretty basic there and then you have the uh, stopwatch now looking at the manual before I started doing this review um, I found out some interesting information about the alarm um, interestingly it's got a uh, multi-function to it so the nice thing about the functions on this alarm is you have a daily alarm which goes off every day at the set time of the day you have a monthly alarm that the beeper will sound on a preset day and time once every month you have a uh, one month alarm which um uh, it does month only, so the beeper sounds at a preset time every day during the set month. So if I wanted to set it up for, for instance, uh, the third of every month, uh, 8.40 a.m. on the third of every month, that alarm will go off for me. And then you got the date alarm, which will it'll go off on a set preset time of the month and date. So I never realized what the features were on that until I just looked at the system today. I always thought of it as a basic alarm, so that's actually uh, pretty interesting that I just learned that after having own this watch for 10 years so just to show you how it works basically you're going to set the date uh the time of the uh alarm when you press the uh the setting but then you have the opportunity to be able to set the date so when the date it when there's nothing in the date it just goes off daily this particular one is basically showing that on march 5th at 8 40 a.m it's going to go off and that that's how it's going to work um if i go into the next second here and i can just basically turn off from going all the way up to 31 and then blanking it out. So that just basically says that on the third of every month, it's going to set the alarm off at 8.40. So just an interesting little feature there. And then to turn the alarm on, just to give you a heads up, uh, you press the light and you're going to see that the alarm itself is going to go off. You press it again and it's an hourly chime and the alarm that'll go off. And you press it again and all the alarms will be off. So you can, um, a lot of functions to that alarm, I didn't realize. So that's, uh, that's it for the alarm. If you're changing the settings in any mode, it goes back to the uh, basic screen uh, during that mode. This is just setting the time. 
to that second time zone. So if I'm in Chicago, I'd back it up a month or whatever the time zone is on that, and that's pretty basic there. Then you got uh, the timer. So you could set the timer by pressing the setting button. Oop, don't I have it set in there? And I could set it by the hour, I could set it by the minute, and I could, of course, set it by the seconds, which is, I really like that feature. Goes back to the main screen, press it again for a third time, and you get the stopwatch with a 24-hour stop, uh, stopwatch with split time. So uh, that's uh, that's the DW5600C. Um, it's held up incredibly well over the years. I don't wear it a lot uh, for that purpose. Wrist shot fits really well. The resin on this is a little harder than the resin that you're going to get uh, in more modern watches. The notches are also different. Uh, these ones are kind of more like uh, more rigid. But it definitely stands the test of time. I'm very impressed about how the battery life has gone on on this. And I probably won't have to change it for another three or four years. So that's uh, that's a handy thing on that. So, guys, I want to thank you very much for the support that you've given me over the years. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've released any uh, reviews. It's just been a very busy time for me with work and family. Um, but I'm planning on uh, putting more reviews out there for you. So uh, I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um Please, by all means, please subscribe to uh, to my channel. Um, check out www.watchletterucseek.com, spelled out on the bottom. It's great information and discussion on all different watches of all different types that you'd be interested in. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Every time I release a video, uh, Twitter will automatically uh, just send out a notification that a video is on its way. And um, thanks again for checking out my review.